The applause of the crowd, her name rings out. Well, let's move on to the men's 400 freestyle, S12 victory ceremony. This victory ceremony, of course, saw a superb swim by Sergi Punko, the defending champion, the world record holder. So I'm an excellent four minutes ten for gold. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony for the men's 400 meter freestyle S12. So there are the medalists. The medals on a tray. Parading behind them. Sergey Punko from Russia, the champion. The medals will be presented by the Deputy Prime Minister of the Russian Federation, Mr. Dmitry Kozak. Dmitry Kozak there, Deputy Prime Minister of Russia. Mr. Tim Reddish, OBE. And Mr. Tim Reddish, OBE, board member of LOCOG. Great service to swimming in the United Kingdom, representing Great Britain for two decades. The winner of the bronze medal. Almost two decades. Sergei Klippert. For the Ukraine, great race from lane two to take bronze. 23 years of age. Floriano, the fastest qualifier. He went in lane four, representing Spain, but it was silver for him. Really couldn't stop the grace and power of Punko. But a great silver medal for Floriano. Punko there, taking applause as he steps forward to take his gold medal. And quite ironic that he's been presented with the medal by this man here, Deputy Prime Minister of Russia. I'm sure they've met many times before. A proud moment. Now we can enjoy the national anthem of Ladies Russia. And gentlemen, the national anthem of the Russian Federation.
Well, I do enjoy the national anthem for the Russian Federation. So it's a jolly national anthem, but also dramatic as well. Punko, Floriano, Tipper at the one, two, three. It wouldn't take much guessing that all young swimmers around the world will be looking at these great champions and will be inspired by these role models to get into the water. It's a sport that they love. If they have passion for what they do, then pursue your dreams and goals relentlessly because one day, well, it could be you there. They've got to give the gold medal to someone. And talent will only ever get you so far. The work ethic of these competitors. Well, they'll be swimming some nine miles a day, most days of the week, in the water for 20 hours a week. Doing lots of gym work as well and flexibility routines. So the dry land program could see themselves Achieving another 10 hours, so 30 hours or more of training and preparation. It's a full-time job, really, for these athletes. Totally professional in what they do to make their dreams come true. Wouldn't be unusual to believe that Punko has swam 100,000 meters.